How's it going, YouTube? Thanks for giving me your time. Coming here to check out this channel. And uh, hopefully you've seen my uh, short. And this is what brought you here. So, anyways, a lot of people don't believe me that this right here, folks, guess what it is? Da -da 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 is this right there it's a Morgan dollar if you have the skill and the time this little key item right here you can take that Morgan you can whip it right into this amazing thing right here so you might be asking how is this even possible right are here's where you're going to get some pirate knowledge so this is a story it's a true story you know it's a true story you know how you know it's a true story because it's on the internet and everything on the internet folks is true but anyways that to the wayside my uncle was a machinist and uh, he taught me a lot of really wonderful things. And supposedly this is an old pirate trade. So pirates are stuck on a boat. They don't have anything but time most of the time. So what would they do? They would find a piece of steel. And a coin that they liked. And if you take this coin. And you tap on the back side of this coin consistently. With a spoon. That silver will flow over, and you can read the edges. Here's the United States. Let's get this phone to focus. The United States of America. Right there it is. So, I made the ring. My uncle would put the hole in the center for me. I was never that good at machining, so he would take over and do that part. But I did these when I was in, I guess you would say, a transition between high school and um, elementary school. It would have been my seventh and eighth grade years is when I kind of got into this stuff. Here's a quarter. This one had an oopsie. Uh-oh, look what happened. I got too aggressive with it. You have to take your time, folks. If you're going to try this art, you get gorilla-ish with it, you're going to destroy it. So, it's manipulation of silver. You need an anvil or something hard, and you continually roll this coin on the surface, and you tap on the edge of it. I'll show you some of my early failures. This one got all crazy and I tried to beat it flat and everything. I went through lots of these folks before I learned how to do this. This isn't something you just do the first time. It takes skill and practice. But it is possible. This is a quarter. And we'll see if we can get this to focus. There's not much to see inside of a quarter. Here we go. Come on, phone. There it is. You can see that this was a quarter. Well, there it is again. But it takes a lot of time, and supposedly that's why the pirates did this. And you can see the difference in the finish between a 25 cent piece and a dollar piece. Um. A real real neat thing to do if you have somebody that a birth date or a wedding date is in the silver years and you can make them a ring out of an old coin or a quarter I'm showing you this one because this is how it starts a little bit at a time so this coin stays on its edge and it constantly gets tapped when you get it to the size of the finger you want you can then center drill it and lop your hole out. You gotta be careful not to 
boof up your edges. The key is looking for a coin that has good clean edges. This was a practice coin. I bailed on it. It was just a, a starting point. And uh, I never had any intentions on finishing this one because it got a little potato chipped. Uh, here's a 50 center I tried. It also got zapped out. This one had copper in it. I was just experimenting as a child. Of course you got to use all silver ones, but I tried one with the copper in it and as soon as you get to the copper center, the silver and that, they don't play well together. So, there's another quarter. I'll see if we can get this camera to focus on these dates. I hope you've enjoyed this, YouTube, and uh, I want to share this with you because uh, if you have a bunch of what they call junk silver, I call it American treasure, you can always um, do something really interesting with it. I will be honest, they don't hold a real good shine. It takes a lot of uh, mag wheel polish or semi-chrome to keep them looking brand new because it is... Uh, 90% silver and it's soft so I wouldn't wear it to a wrestling match but if you want to wear it to your favorite coin show or something like that it's really awesome um, I got some other things I used to hand saw out a mercury dime you can make it into a necklace and then you can also cut out a morgan make it into a money clip uh, just some stuff for you coin people out there um, anything cool and old I pretty much like it and have it on my channel so uh, I'm going to do a lot more videos in the future. Hopefully, if you like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, this is my gift to you. So go out in the world, do something nice for somebody. And um, let's not forget who to thank. Because uh, without service members, regardless of what country you're in, I guess I keep saying veterans, but that applies to anybody anywhere in the world that does anything better for somebody else thank those people because uh they make our lives better have a good one youtube later